So another thing we've been talking about is what's going on in the tropics. This tropical wave we've been monitoring coming across the Atlantic Basin has been very disorganized. It's still disorganized as it's near the Lesser Antilles now, but is expected to get into a better, more favorable environment for development getting into this weekend as it moves closer to the Bahamas. So this is what we'll be watching getting into the next several days. So this weekend, the global models, the European model and the GFS model are split on the outcome. So it's still not clear what's going to happen with this potential tropical system getting into this weekend through early next week. So this is what it looks like on Saturday, August 3rd, European model has it on the east side of Florida near the Bahamas, the GFS model west of Florida in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. So the models are split even for this weekend. So a lot is still going to change up. It's really important to pay attention to the latest forecasts with this since the models are kind of still inconsistent about what's going to happen. So take it into Monday, August 5th. European model has it offshore of the uh, eastern seaboard and then the GFS more so into the eastern Gulf of Mexico. Again, a big spread in the models, something we'll be watching over the next several days. But really, the steering currents with the European model take it around this ridge of high pressure, and that trough I mentioned coming across the eastern seaboard will help yank this potential tropical system just off the U.S. southeast coast early next week. So this is something really we'll be having to keep a close eye on. No immediate threats expected for the Gulf Coast through the weekend, but again, make sure you do check back for the latest with this. Here's that seventh day. Its forecast is going to be scorching hot the next week with lower rain chances.